Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of Five Awesome Mods to Download. We are currently on episode 14. As always, if you guys do want to check out some of the previous episodes, I'll have a link in the description below uh, to a playlist you can go to, you know, just in case you want to check out some of the other cool mods that I have featured on the channel before. But enough talking, jumping straight into today's first mod. And of course, we're going to be starting off with a weapon mod today known as the Hero's Revolver. Now, some of you guys may already notice exactly where this weapon is from because it's from another game known as Overwatch, which, by the way, is a very cool game. If you haven't played it yet, I definitely suggest you guys try it out. And it's basically from the hero known as McCree. This is literally McCree's revolver uh, in Fallout 4. As always, with a lot of the mods that I cover on the channel, this was actually published by Doombase, so that is how you know this weapon is pretty damn good. He also gave credit to Army AJ and uh, Kovadanga with help with the textures as well. And I have to say, guys, this is very well done. Like, I didn't think this was going to be as good as it turned out to be. Like, in general, the textures are great. The reload animations work perfectly. You know, it, it's a very powerful weapon, and it really is a cool weapon mod to use in Fallout 4. Now, to find the weapon, you'll need to head over to the Museum of Freedom in Concord. And I guess in the history section of the museum, or that's what I'd call it anyway, um, you'll actually find it in a display case sitting right there for you guys to pick up. And again, it's not going to be for everyone. I know not everybody likes, you know, when other weapons get brought into Fallout, but I personally love this one. As an Overwatch player myself, this was really cool to see. And in general, I mean, the weapon works great. So definitely a really cool weapon mod for you guys to check out. Now, this next type of mod is one that I don't usually cover on the channel, but on special occasions where really cool ones come in, I definitely think it's worth it. And this is the N7 Special Edition Pip-Boy Overhaul by Mr. Jimtastic. Now, as many of you guys may or may not know, this is actually based around the popular game known as Mass Effect, which, by the way, I am a huge fan of. But one thing I will say is that even if you don't know what Mass Effect is or not really a fan, this is still a really cool Pip-Boy overhaul. I mean, it looks genuinely good. Of course, if you are a fan of Mass Effect, then this is great for you. But again, even if you're not, I just think this is a really, really cool and well done Pip-Boy overhaul and a definitely one of the best out there as of now. The overhaul itself features a carbon fiber body, backlit icons and labels, and a patented LED rad meter in an all-inclusive package. And again, I just think it looks really cool. I mean, I don't really feature Pip-Boy mods too much, uh, but when one like this comes out, I just think it's definitely worth it to show it to you guys. The next mod we are going to be taking a look at here is Grenade Expansion Pack 2 by Sean MS 1991 the mod itself adds over 60 brand new explosives into the game, and on top of all of that, it also adds a brand new, very clean and high quality M79 grenade launcher, to which a lot of those explosives that you can make uh, can also be fired from the grenade launcher itself. Now, all of the explosives can be crafted at a chemistry station, and they range from a bunch of different things. I mean, there's literally too many to cover in this video because again there's well over 60 but some of these sort of range from contact explosives timed explosives dart weapons chemical weapons cluster bombs that are absolutely crazy uh, traditional mines throwable disguised mines as well as remotely detonated charges such as c4 and there's also like a nuka version of c4 as well that you can set off in general and those are just the categories like in each of those categories there is a huge list of different types of grenades that you can choose from i'll list off a few here you got things like the cryo cell cluster you've got the frag bouquet you've got the little boy pack which literally splits into like six different mini nukes when you throw it and it comes into contact with something you've got the energized sentry rockets you've also got like cryogenic grenades you can throw and they'll freeze on impact and just a range of really cool things some of them are a little bit overboard but just really fun and really cool to use and again most of these can be fired from the m79 grenade launcher and if you do have the legendary version which i'll show you guys the location here shortly you can literally switch it with the click of a button all you have to do is press the rb button if you're on xbox and when this does eventually come out to playstation you can press the r1 button and what that will do is it will bring up a menu for which you can actually switch to different ammo types so really really cool to find the weapon itself you'll need to head over to gorski's cabin it'll be located uh, right here on your map it's really not too far away from concord and it'll be in the root cellar and basically if you make your way all the way to the end uh, you'll find it there pretty much just laying there waiting for you uh, to pick up as well as some ammunition for it so really cool mod definitely one for you guys to check out and one that i personally recommend if you are looking for a little bit more fun within fallout 4. 
Talking of fun, there's also another mod that you guys may want to check out known as Psycho Powers by Catapoom. As the mod title suggests, this literally adds a bunch of powers for you to use within Fallout 4, from Psionic Blast to Kinetic Force to Pyrokinesis, Electrokinesis, and just in general, a bunch of crazy powers that are really fun to use. And you can essentially use these very easily using the hotkey bar, and uh, all you have to do is simply, you know, go to the hotkey and press down on which one you want to use, and you'll sort of throw it out, but it will be like very, very quickly and in a very smooth and viable way. Now to get the powers, there's actually several ways you can go about doing this. Number one is to head to Vault 95 to find its hidden experiment, which is a special mixture of the famous Forced Evolutionary Virus, aka the FEV. If you survive the infection, you will then be granted with the awesome powers. Now the second way of doing it is the much easier way if you want to do it this way instead. And essentially what you have to do is simply craft the FEV holotape uh, from any nearby chem station and then go ahead and select pretty much to put it in your inventory. And uh, once you put it into your inventory, uh, it will pop up in the aid section. And then all you have to do is inject yourself with it. And uh, once you do that, you'll then go for this sort of crazy animation. Like there'll be all this like electricity flying off you. You'll end up like getting sent back a little bit. You'll start glowing blue and stuff. And eventually when you do survive this, you'll then have something known as meditate get added to your aid section. And every time you use this meditate option, it will essentially put you back through that sort of weird animation and at the end of it you'll then start learning spells and essentially when you click on meditate you can select uh, to meditate on strength or meditate on time or something and uh, each one that you select will give you a different power every single time and that's essentially how you get the powers so it's a really cool one it's really fun you know some people may say you know powers in fallout it doesn't really match but i just think it's really cool and a really fun one for you guys to check out uh, if you are interested in now before we do get into the final mod of the video i do want to give an honorable mention to the gunslinger outfit a mod that i did sort of cover on stream but i know that not all of you like to watch the streams and this is genuinely a really cool outfit mod one of my personal favorites now uh, just from the general way this looks and it's for both the male uh, and the female characters as well the outfit itself is very high quality in terms of textures. I mean, you guys can see here it does have as well uh, the, the you know the vault number 111 written on the back of it. And I just think it looks really cool. Again, I'll show you guys some images for the male character. I do have gameplay for the female character uh, because it is the character that I play. And you can craft both the hat and the outfit at the chem station. So it's very easy to obtain. And if you are a fan of outfit and armor mods out there, definitely one for you guys to check out. And for the final mod of the video, this is known as Ruby Weapons by Cake Legends. Now this mod adds a few brand new weapons and also the capes into the game. And the capes is sort of the main reason why I'm, I'm making this part of the video is because the capes look awesome. There's a bunch of different colors for them that you can choose from, uh, as you guys can see here by the gameplay in the background. And I believe all of this is based around the anime web series from Rooster Teeth. At least I think that's what it's based over. I don't know much about this because I haven't personally watched it myself. But either way, the capes are very, very awesome to choose, as you guys can see there. They don't look that great with the, the clothing that I do have on, but I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there, I would definitely find a good use for them with certain clothing uh, to make them look even cooler. Now, as for the weapons, there's quite a few to choose from. You have the Crescent Rose, you've got the Kill Fist, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, this thing is literally devastating at close range, as you guys can see there uh, by the gameplay in the background. And to get all of this stuff, the capes can be crafted at any nearby chemistry station, whereas the weapons, you do have to actually go to certain locations. And for the Kill Fist, uh, this can actually be found in Yang's Locker in public occurrences in Diamond City. And uh, for Crescent Rose, that can be found in Ruby's Locker next to Vault 111's entrance. In general, this mod is pretty cool. It's high quality in terms of textures, and it is definitely one that some of you guys out there would definitely enjoy. And that, my friends, is episode 14 of 5 awesome mods to download. As always, if you guys do enjoy this series, be sure to leave a like down below, guys. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. I'm going to try and pump these out much more often now. I've been slacking with this a little bit, and uh, I'm going to try and get them out much more in video form rather than just streaming them all the time. 
and I'll also stream a few things here and there as well uh, to go alongside it. But either way, again, hope you did enjoy. One thing to mention, again, I am hosting a season pass giveaway for the winner's platform of choice. If you do want to enter into that, be sure to check the link in the description down below uh, for several ways that you can enter. But for now, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.